Welcome back to another episode of Life in Fork. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple, uh, vibrant summer salad using one of uh, my keto dressings. So stay tuned. So first we're going to start off with the peach. We're going to grab a knife and then slam it through. Make sure your knife is really sharp so it goes right through the core. Next I'm going to go grab a parent knife. A parent knife is like a bird's peak knife. I'm going to use it to go around the core to get it out because it's going to be difficult depending on how ripe your peach is. If your peach is really overripe, the core will come out a little bit easier but it will smash your peach up pretty good. So you can see, just go around, take your time, use the peak, the point, to go all the way down and just follow it around. As soon as that's discarded, set it aside, put it on a little hot plate, because it's gonna go into the broiler. Next, you're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil, just on top, this is gonna keep it nice and moist when you broil it. For the finishing touch, I'm gonna use a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt. Uh, sea salt, you know, starting to come into fashion right now because of all the properties that help, you know, with health. So I use it a little bit more and more now. So I'm going to put it in broil high and it's going to stay there. Next, we're going to take the sweet peppers. Sweet peppers are the small peppers you can get at any store. We're going to try to get some different colors in here. We got yellow, a little orange, and a little red. With the knife, you're going to go nice and small. The smaller it is, the easier it's going to be to eat. So just take nice, small, thin slices. Take your time, make sure your knife is really sharp. This will help with the process to speed it up. You can see here I'm using the pull method. The pull method is where I take the knife and just pull back. This helps me get really nice, thin slices out of the pepper instead of doing the rocking motion. So there's a lot of different ways to hold the knife to get different cuts. But this is the way I like for when I'm doing precise cuts. Now I'm gonna set that aside off to the top discard everything. The green onions. Now green onions is, a, is such a great ingredient for salads. It goes with everything, gives it that nice crisp taste. So I'm going to grab two green onions and I'm going to just uh, take nice ab long slices. See this is the rock in motion going back and forth and only the greens. The whites I'm going to still keep because I can use that for other stuff, soup, sauces, a lot of different uh, other fun stuff you can play with. So never throw it away. Cilantro is the next ingredient. You're going to take cilantro, you're going to pull it apart. And for this salad, I don't want the stems. I use the stems on a lot of other preparations, but for this, the salad that we're doing right now, we're going to keep it very nice and clean. So all you're going to do is just pick some leaves. I would say you need just a little bit. You know, it depends on how much of the herbs you want. But adding herbs to a salad is a nice little fine point that adds a little bit more character and a little bit of a different flavor. And honestly, there's any herb you can add to the salad. Once the cilantro has been picked, you set it aside. Now with a nice stainless steel mixing bowl, we're gonna add the baby arugula. We're gonna add two cups. And I don't really measure it by cups, I just measure it by hands. So two handfuls equals two cups. So you're gonna put that in there and then you're gonna add some of your other ingredients. We're gonna add the, the cilantro, of course, and we're gonna add the green onion. Now we're gonna take our dressing that we made already. Uh, I'm gonna post a link above so you can see where it's at. Here we're sprinkling just a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt. Now the dressing that is being used today is a cilantro avocado vinaigrette, which is keto friendly. This salad that I'm making with the peaches, it might go past your uh, keto uh, macros. So make sure you know what macros you're using. So I'm going to use two tablespoons and just stir it with a spoon. Get a nice coated on, on every single leaf. And I'm going to set that aside. Now the peaches just came out the broiler. You can see how nice and caramelized they are on the top. That's what you're looking for. If I wanted a little bit more caramel, I could add a little bit of brown sugar. But again, I'm trying to keep everything nice and healthy and I don't want to add too much sugar to the salad. So I'm going to get uh, eight slices out of the peach. You can still see the smoke coming out of them, nice and warm. I like to you know, add some warm stuff to salads to go against that hot and cold. 
I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna start building our salad. Grab any kind of plate you want, bowl. I'm gonna use a flat plate so I can show some elevation. First, I'm gonna take the salad and I'm gonna add a little bit of green beans. You can use French green beans if you would like. These are just standard green beans. And a little bit of broccoli to add a little bit more uh, vegetables to the salad. I try to balance every salad so it has a nice equal vegetable to fruit to some kind of ratio so that you get the health benefits that a salad should give you. Here I'm just using my hands to build like a nest. The height is what I'm looking for. I want my salad not to lay flat. After time, this is why a salad has to be made to order at this point because it will fall. The vinaigrette will kill and it will wilt your greens. So you gotta do this all really quick. The peaches go around just to add that color and that vibrancy. That way you don't have to be looking through the whole salad to pick them out. You can do any kind of design you want with this, but I'm just doing a standard go around. The peppers, I'm just gonna place over top, over the sides, just to add that contrast. Always trying to play with the colors, always trying to come up with some kind of different art to it. So just lay them anywhere you want. Next, some blueberries. Uh, blueberries are great for antioxidants and stuff like that. So again, just put some on the plate. It adds a little bit of different character, a little bit of a different sweetness and tart. Now for the crunch, because I like the contrast. So I'm gonna use some hemp seeds. This will give me the crunch. You know, sometimes I would do candy pecans, but for this salad, I wanted to keep it nice and healthy. So a little hemp seeds goes a long way. Next, we're gonna place our salmon right on top. So there you have it, my summer salad that I just came up with. Very light, uh, full of fruit, different flavors, textures, and topped off with a nice piece of salmon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, stay tuned to next week for a future video. Uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get reminders. Follow me at Chef Jesse Q on Instagram. Leave me any comments down below. I reply to everything. Love you guys. Take it easy.